I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for you, Libra for the week of June the 12th. Okay, so Jupiter in your sign just came out of retrograde. Yay, on the 9th. Okay, so this should like really get things going, particularly as we just at the same time on the 9th, um, <clears throat> full moon and a the moon is conjunct with Saturn. Okay, so this is in your area of communication. So if you've got something that's perhaps been, um, you know, not finalized and you've been waiting for things or discussions that are happening, then, you know, guess what? It can happen this week because we've got three aspects with Mercury, the communication planet, and that's in your area of um, knowledge. It's also in your area of being upfront and, and honest with yourself first and then with others so you want to say you're always you know there's the sign of diplomacy but you want to really say now how it is for you how how you feel okay um and <clears throat> there's a opposition between the sun and um Saturn and also Mercury and Saturn. So, and Saturn sits in your area of your third house. Also creativity. So an old project that perhaps has been put on the back burner can resurface now, particularly of a creative nature. But if it didn't work before, then you want to have a look at the reasons why. It doesn't mean to say it can't work this time, but you want to sort of analyze it a little bit and you're the best out of doing all the pros and cons and sorting out and that's where I think that it comes in for you to then say exactly how you feel about something okay rather than just go along I mean you're a cardinal sign so not that you would Libra but I'm just saying there's a very <clears throat> nice train uh, right at the start of the week between Jupiter in your sign, planet of abundance, expansion, uh, and Mercury. So, you know, right from the start, it's like <clears throat> the doorway is open, the airways are there, <clears throat> the opportunity is there to have discussions that are going to set things in motion. So there seems to then be a little bit of to and through through the week, and particularly as there's a square between Mercury and um Neptune and Neptune going retrograde this week. You want to be check the details, particularly if you're meeting somebody and just get the correct details together. Um, it, things are not always as they appear, so you don't want to make any like prejudgments, any assumptions, don't assume anything, do your own research, all that, okay, particularly to do around work and particularly to do with meetings and your productivity and your day-to-day -day schedule. <coughs> Excuse me. And right at the end of the week, there's a um, connection between the Sun and Uranus. Uranus right opposite you, slow moving planet, been there for a while, going to be there for a while. Uh, but nevertheless, it, it's in your relationship zone. And it's an opportunity to, uh, with the sun, and the sun is in that area of knowledge. It's also in the area of like soul, what I call soul purpose area of your chart. Um, and, you know, so if you're looking for love, then, you know, something can come out or someone can come out of the blue uh, during this time. And if you're in a relationship, then it does give you an opportunity to do things slightly different, okay? So to make some alterations that are going to be <clears throat> good for um, both of you and for everyone else too. Um and Venus, let's have a look where Venus is because Venus in your ruling planet is in your uh, solar eighth house. So this is very nice for intimacy, for love. On a business level, it's very nice for financial um, 
dealings and particularly if you're looking for financial support from other people okay so all right so I hope it's a great week for you the card that I've selected from James Van Prague Soul Journeys lesson card is honesty okay and here's the little incantation I can't always expect the truth from others but I can expect it from myself all right so isn't that lovely there it is there so um, it's a card of honesty <clears throat> and if you would like to book a personal reading a psychic astrology or a chart or a soul purpose reading um, from me uh, or with me then you can do that through jenniferangel.com okay thanks so much for watching we'll see you next week I hope you have a great week bye for now